Good morning, San Francisco! I don't know why I did that. It's already out there. It's been done. I can't really bring it back from that art. Like, this video is off to a great start, obviously. Hey, everyone! <laughs> today, I wanted to go ahead and do my July wrap up. I want to do it today just because I'm busy tomorrow, like this entire weekend, since, you know, I do work retail and God forbid we ever have a weekend off because, you know, the bitches want to shop. They want to shop. Anyway, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and do a wrap up for you. Um, I've never really done one of these before in a video, so I guess I'll just talk about books out this month and how I like them and sort of, I guess, do like really, really miniature reviews on them. But yeah, I read nine books this month, which is a little above average for me. I usually average about like eight books a month. Um, sometimes a little less, sometimes a little more. So let's get started. Woohoo! My space pick. I read three books from the Seabreeze series by um, Abby Lyons this month. We have Bad For You, Because Of Low, and While It Lasts. Um, I'm pretty sure this is like the second book, and I think this is the th I think this is the third book, and then this is like number. It's like later in the series. Yeah, um, I absolutely adore, 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 adore Abby Lyons and her writing. Even if like all of her stories are just really similar, but like different guys and sort of different scenarios. Um, I, I burned through these books so quickly, like I read them all in like hours because they're just so good. I have like two books left to finish the series and I think she's coming out with another one later this year. So that's exciting just because I love, I love these stories. I just love the town they're set in and the guys are always so hot. Like, mm, they're always so yummy and the stories are just like so addicting. Like I just, I get, I go through them so fast. It's ridiculous. And so yeah, these were great books for this month. Um, next we have Down to You by M. Layton. It's part of, it's a Bad Boys novel. I, it's the first one in the series, and I really, really enjoyed it. Like it's about two twins. It's about yeah, two twins. It's about twins who, like, want the same girl, and so I'm like, yes, it's like a fantasy of mine to have, like, twins fighting over me. Are you f for real? So I was, like, super excited when I got this, and it was a lot- it was much more than I thought it would be. And it was, like, just, um, really, um, intriguing and really captivating, and I loved it, and I can't wait to, um, continue the series, because this one was, like, amazing. And the ending was ridiculous. Like, who the fuck does she think she is ending it like that? Like, you can't do that to me. It's just not, it's not fair. But yeah. So yeah, I'm really excited to finish, to continue the series. And this was another great book that I read this month. Next we have You and Me and Him by Chris Dennison. Um, I was super, super, super excited when I read this premise a couple months ago because it just came out like this month I think yeah like, beginning of this month and so I was super excited when I first read about this and um it's basically about um these two teenagers one's a gay guy and the other is an overweight female and um and don't think overweight female is like a bad thing just because that's like literally how they um describe her yeah like, it says Maggie and Nash are outsiders, she's overweight, he's out of the closet. And so, it's like a really big theme in the book, so that's why I said an overweight female, just because it's like, part of the story. And, um, it was definitely not what I was expecting. There was a lot more, um, depressing than I thought it would be, like... It's just like, it left me, like, a, like the main character, like, the main guy. The love interest, that's what I mean. It was like, such a dick. And it's just like, man, and these two teenagers just, ne nothing ever goes right for them, and this guy is being an asshole to both of them. Ridiculous. But it was still a pretty good book. 
Um, so, uh, an LGBTQ friendly book if you wanna, if you're into that, which is always a good thing if you're in adult literature. Next we have How to Be Bad by Lauren Miracle, Sarah Milanowski, I think, I don't know, and E. Lockhart. Um, there was, I put a review up of this on my blog, so if you read that you already know what I thought about it. Um, I loved, I love E. Lockhart anyway, like, her We Were Liars book was amazing. It was, mm, it was such a good book. But this was really good too. Um, I hadn't read um, a book that didn't really have a prominent love story in like a long time. And so it was a pleasant surprise to realize that um, how I, for I, I like, forgot how good they could be. And yeah, it was a great story with a great message in it. Just like a great story about friendship and all the rewards and sometimes not rewards that come with it. Yeah. My first Nicholas Sparks book that I've ever read, it was the last song. I love Miley and Liam anyway. Um, I watched the movie last night actually, and the book was so much better. Like I liked the movie a lot, but the movie was like really cheesy. Like the script was just like cringeworthy, but the book was beautiful and I cried so hard for the last 100 pages. I don't know if any of you read my um, reaction to it on my blog, but yeah, I'll leave, all, I'll leave my blog link down below, by the way, just in case you want to, you know, hit it up. But yeah, this was... Uh, man, this was just... Mm, I love this book so much, and I'm so excited to read more of Nicholas Sparks' books, just because I this is my first one, and so I didn't realize what I was missing. Like, how dare me, right? But yeah, I'm super, super excited to read the book, and I actually bought a bunch of his movies just because... Um, a friend of mine let me borrow all her books that she has of his, and so I want to be able to watch the movies after I read the books and compare. Nowhere But Here by Katie McGarry. This book was amazing. Like, it was... wow. Um, this was my first Katie McGarry book, and that and I um, am so eager to read more of hers, especially the Pushing the Limit series, because I've heard so much about it. And I don't know why I never, I never purchased it. Yeah, this was a great book. Um, it's... The first book in the Thunder Road series, which I'm so glad it's going to be a series because these characters are just a blessing. They might be a little generic, but they're still, like, amazing. Um, I just love this story so much. Like, it was so addicting, and Oz is just... Yes! Like, yes, Oz, yes! And, yeah. This is a great, great book, and I am so excited to read more of Katie McGarry, and hopefully they're as good as these, as this book, you know? And last but not least, the final book I read this month was Extraordinary Means by Robin Schneider. I will have, I have a review ready for this, and so I will put it up along with this video, and I'll put the link down in the description. Um, I loved her first novel, The Beginning of Everything. It was so good, and this one didn't disappoint either. It was, I don't know, it wasn't as good as her first one, I guess, but it was still, um, pretty damn good. Like, I don't know, I talked about it in my review, but I read a lot where people were saying that it's not depressing, even though it's about like a disease. And I don't agree because while there were a lot of funny moments in this book, a lot of the humor they were using was to cover up the fact that they were, in fact, like dying. And I think that's even more heartbreaking than just being like outright depressing. But yeah, this was a great book. Um, I said that about every book I fucking read. Like. I need to get a better vocabulary. This is a pretty good, um, see my, <laughs> my change of word. <laughs> this is a pretty good date or um, sophomore novel from Robin Schneider. Um, she's actually really good at um, nailing the male protagonist voice because a I know a lot of girls who have tried to, um, do that and it's never like that good. But Robin did a really great job of it, and I liked how it was told in alternating point of views because I really liked to see how um, Sadie felt about everything. So yeah, it was really, it was good. I suck. Those were all of the novels I read this month. Uh, it was a great month for me. I'm so excited to read more, of course. I mean, 
I love reading, obviously. Um, I'm getting some books in the mail tomorrow, but I won't be able to make a video until like maybe Saturday, maybe not, maybe not until Sunday, maybe not even until Monday. But I want to do an unboxing video for you guys, so I will wait to do that until I can film the video and show you guys what I got because I'm so excited. All right, well, um, I hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, happy reading, and yeah, bye.